In this video, I'm going to show you the third variation of the lasso tool, and that is the magnetic lasso tool. To get to that tool, I'm going to click and hold on the lasso tool in the toolbar. It's the third tool down, and then choose the magnetic lasso tool. I used to use this tool quite a bit, but now I'm, I use the quick selection tool more than I use this one. But this is a great tool to use if you have obvious edges um, in your image that you want to make your selection from. So for example, in this balloon image, I want to select the balloon out of this image and place it in another image. Now because there's obvious obvious edges here between the balloon and the and the sky background, the magnetic lasso tool will work fairly well with this one. The beauty of the magnetic lasso tool is that it will find the edges for you. So I don't, do not have to be so precise with the control of my mouse. It will find the variation in color to determine where that edge is. So I'm going to simply click and start dragging around the edge of the balloon. Dragging around the, the bottom edge of this. If I want to do a point, I can click to create a point. Otherwise, it's going to, by default, create a point every so often as I go around the edge. My mouse is not pressed. I'm just dragging it around the edge of the balloon. And because of the variation of color, it finds the edge of the balloon to the sky. And as I get over to the edge here, if I, get one, if I roll over the first point, I get the little circle indicating I've completed my path. I can also just double click. Now, it kind of missed some of the edges here. Maybe my mouse was inside too far, where it missed the yellow here and missed some of the yellow up here. I can add to this selection, so I'm going to hold down Shift, and again, using my magnetic lasso tool, just click on the edge here, and make sure I stay towards the edge there. I'm going to click and do a point here, and click in here, and then double click to close that, and it will add that to that selection. Now notice I made the selection coming into the balloon, because I wanted to add just the edge of that. We'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to zoom in a bit to this image. To add to the selection, I'm going to hold down Shift again before I start clicking with the magnetic lasso tool. Click to start the selection there, and then take my mouse around the edge. If my mouse is not pressed, it's creating those points automatically. Click here to make a point, and then double click over here to add them. We'll do it one more time over in this direction. Grab that, and then finally, this is actually two more places here. Click to make a point. There it came in again. I'm going to press delete to delete that last dot and click here and press delete twice. The delete will remove the previous dot or the previous point. And you can press delete as many times as necessary. I'm going to click to make that dot there because it's coming in too soon and missing part of that yellow. All right, and then I'm going to add this portion down here. Hold that shift to add to the selection. Click. Come along the outside of that. Notice it jumped in again. I got that point. I'm going to press delete. When it does that, I'm going to create my own point by clicking around the yellow edge. Like so. And now it's a pretty clean selection. I have a little bit extra here. I'm going to grab that really quick by holding down Alt to Remove from selection, click, 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 double click to remove that little blue sky. And this little problem area right here to add that little yellow there. I'm going to add some points around the outer edge here, like so. All right, there's our selection. 